Hello once again, this is Sam in Wyoming. Now, there are a few issues in woodworking or wood turning that draw more attention than does using food safe finishes. Most everyone has a wooden salad bowl or breadboard in their home that comes in contact with food. It's critical that these items are maintained in such a way that we all feel safe when these items are being used. In this video today, I will showcase Paul Clark's butcher block and cutting board products, which include soap, oil, wax, a scrub brush, and a wax applicator. So let me readjust my camera and we'll show you these products. Now what I have right here is an unfinished bowl. It needs probably a little bit more tool work, some sanding, and finally what I need to do with this really nice salad bowl is apply a food safe finish. Now that may be some sort of an oil like a tongue oil. That's not the topic for today. What I'm going to talk about are products, a uh, breadboard like this, a bowl that's been sealed. It's been turned by someone, in this case me. This is a very nice walnut salad bowl or food server. And it's been uh, done for a few years actually. Anyway, um, it's been sealed really well. And the issue is what happens when this salad bowl or this breadboard end up in someone's home? How do they maintain it? Now, this is gonna be a bit of a showcase on Paul Clark's finishing products and a little bit of a review. Now, next I should mention that the information I'm giving you is directly from Paul Clark's website, and I'll put links up to different uh, bits of information in the description. Now, I'm gonna cover just briefly, in a little bit of detail, the products in this line of uh, wood treatment. The first thing I need to mention, and maybe talk about just a little bit, is why we need to do this. It's all about sealing wood, and I'm a woodworker. I'm a wood turner and I'm a firm believer in when you make something like that walnut salad bowl I showed you earlier, we need to seal that really, really well before it leaves our shop. Now, those kinds of finishes may require some time to dry before we consider them safe. And that's a really important point. And uh, I'll cover that a little bit more detail later. But it's all about preventing drying. Now, if we have a raw piece of wood like, like this salad bowl right here, there's no finish on that. It hasn't been sanded or anything. Now, the moisture is going to be absorbed into the, now the moisture is going to be absorbed into the surface of that wood a lot more uh, easily than a piece of wood that's been sealed really well. And what happens is it dries out and as we use it, it gets wet and we wash it and it dries out. And that's a cycle that we need to minimize. And we let that breadboard go too long without really uh, treating it and dealing with the moisture. We're gonna have problems and the board is not gonna last quite as long. So let's take a look at these products. Okay, now the first items I'm showing you are the cutting board soap and the scrub brush. One thing I would mention about the scrub brush is it's a multitasker. You can use this for wooden items, certainly like your cutting board or salad bowls, but you can also use it to scrub your countertop or other things around your kitchen. Now here's one point I really, really uh, firmly make as a cook. I do like to cook and I clean up the kitchen, help my wife. I don't like foam pads. I don't like foam scouring pads because I really think they harbor germs and bacteria. This scrub brush is a, is a bristle brush with very firm, coarse bristles, and you can use that to uh, scrub down your cutting board with the cutting board soap. Now, why would we use this soap in place of other dish soaps we might have on our counter? Now, this soap is made exclusively with vegetable oils. There will be no tallow, lard, or other animal fats in this soap, which can go rancid, and that's a very important part. The uh, soap is 100% percent 
olive oil based and there are other natural ingredients to the soap. Okay, now I'm showing you the cutting board oil and the applicator. The applicator can also be used to apply the wax later on. So the cutting board oil is again a mineral oil based food grade finish that you apply. And the main thing is you want this to soak in. And I'll show you that a little bit later in more detail. You want that to sit on the surface until it completely soaks in and then wipe off any excess. Okay, now you're looking at the cutting board wax. In the center is a buffing pad that you'll use to remove the wax later on and the applicator for applying the wax. Now, if you took the time to watch my initial video reviewing these products, you would remember that I talked an awful lot about food safe finishes. Well, let's take a look at a couple terms. Food safe finishes usually means that once they are dried or cured, they're safe to be around food, breadboard, salad bowls. That means whatever those finishes might be, it could be uh, a varnish, polyurethane, a wipe on poly of some sort, even tongue oil, they have a dryer in them. Some sort of a polymer that allows them to harden in the wood. Now, until they're cured, they're not safe to be around food. Okay, so you have to wait a certain period of time. Okay, that's food safe. Now these products by Paul Clark are organic and natural. That means they are mineral oil based or they have a vegetable oil in them, which means they won't go rancid. There's no animal byproducts or lard or tallow, anything like that that can go rancid. When you're sealing a board, it's really important to seal those uh, pores of that board so the drying process doesn't allow moisture to penetrate into the wood. Now the last point I'll make about this topic for food safe finishes or organic is that these products can be applied and used immediately. Once you've applied them, they're completely safe. They're safe right here. They're safe in this form. So let's move on to the process of applying these products to a cutting board. All right, now I'm gonna go through the process of applying these products to a cutting board. I have one of my cutting boards, which actually is a brand new cutting board. It's been sitting in my gallery, waiting to be sold. And it's an end grain cutting board or a butcher block cutting board, which means this is end grain. This is the side grain. So the end grain is gonna absorb a lot more of the finish you apply than will the end grain. And it's a good example to use in this situation. So what is the first thing we wanna do? If this cutting board has been in our kitchen, we're going to just simply brush off the breadcrumbs. If there's more gook on there, like in my situation, I'm going to have peanut butter on that breadboard. So I'm going to rinse it off and make sure it's dry. Now the first step in this process is cleaning the board. So let's pretend this board has been in use for some time. It's really been dried out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, cutting board soap and the scrub brush and I'm going to scrub this this product that's a pretty easy process you can do that on your own so we're going to clean this really well rinse it off and then dry it and go to the next step keep in mind this brush is not a foam brush it's a very hard bristle brush and you can use this to clean other surfaces you can use it for salad bowls cutting boards and whatever, but also just cleaning your countertop perhaps, or maybe the inside of your sink. I don't like foam scrub brushes because I think they harbor germs and bacteria. Now I like this hard bristle brush. Now, what's the next step? We got our board all dried off and we're gonna apply the oil. So we're gonna apply our oil with the applicator. Now you can use this applicator with the oil and the wax. So what I'm gonna do is just put a liberal amount of the oil on this cutting board. And keep in mind it's uh, a new cutting board so it's sealed fairly well right now. I'm gonna take the applicator 
to spread this out, make sure that surface is all covered with the oil. And the instructions say to let this stand for one or two hours. And a good guideline is simply, as you see the oil penetrate into the wood, you can watch it and if it's drying out, you can possibly apply more oil. So we're gonna let this sit for an hour or two and we can see the oil penetrate into the wood and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now I'm gonna just take a paper towel and wipe down this oil. Wipe off all the excess. Because this is a new board, it's not really gonna soak in a lot of oil. So let's move on to the next step. We have our oil applied. I'm gonna wipe as much of that off as I can. If I need to, I'm gonna apply a second coat of the oil and let it soak in. Now, I'm gonna take my applicator and I'm gonna take my wax and I'm gonna put on a coat of the wax. So I'm gonna take my applicator load it up with a little bit of the wax and I can see where I'm going here in applying this wax now when I first started using these products three years ago I was certainly sold on the oil I wasn't sure about the wax that seemed like a step that we could maybe do without, but I'll tell you what, after using this, this wax, and I think I've got the board covered pretty well, after using this wax, I am absolutely sold on it. I really, really like the wax. It adds another layer of protection to your cutting board. Now, the instructions say let this sit for 20-30 minutes, let it dry a little bit, let it soak into the wood. Then we're going to come back and we're going to wipe it off. And I'm going to use this, this buffing pad and just get the uh, excess wax off the board. Now you see how long it took for an application of these products. Not very long, okay? And this wax really adds a lot of protection to that board. Well, you might be a new chef or a housekeeper that's looking for a product to apply to your wooden items in your kitchen. And I think there's no better line of products out there than uh, these Clark's uh, wood treatment products, the oil and the wax and the, the accessories, the soap. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. Let me know if you have a question. There's a lot of information on Paul Clark's website. And you can look on there, do a little search on the internet, and you'll find more information. So thank you for tuning in and like my videos, share. I would love to hear your comments. Um, I think this is a great product and I, I know you'd be happy if you purchased one or all of these items. And I didn't mention they also can be purchased in a set with all the brushes and applicators and everything you need. So thank you once again and I will talk to you next time.